Hello YouTube and welcome to your 17th Angular tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at how we can create a very basic login application with Angular and uh, what this application would pretty much need is service and some components to work with and routing obviously so that we can create different sections of the app which are accessible only by people who have authenticated we're going to implement all of this application on the client side only so there won't be any database and all that stuff so again this application is not for you know taking your website or your any confidential details public with the only this applications as a means to secure them again you would need a database and a, you know backend stuff involved to actually authenticate a user so anyhow let's get started and see how we can create a very basic login application with angular 4 so we're gonna first of all i'm gonna say ng generate component and we're gonna need let's just say a header right then generate component I'm gonna say this is login form and then we're gonna say ng generate component footer I don't know we would if we would even make use of footer component but anyways so we have this header footer and login form so what we can do is in our app component which just says us hello world for now we can pretty much say that this is full page and we can say right here this is app header and this app header by the way would be the name of our tag which would be here which is the selector which would show this header component HTML template so this is our app header this would be our app uh, login form and again I'm not making use of routing right now but we'll just implement that later on and you can find all of this code in the description if you want to just follow along and don't want to type all the code yourself so i'll just post that link in the description so now if you save this you can see that we get header works login form works and footer works which is nice so what i'm gonna do is uh, pretty much go to this header and uh, say to it code dam and uh, why not let's just enclose this in header and we can go to its own specific css which would be applied to only this component so we can simply say header is uh, display or it's actually display block itself so we're going to say text align center uh, we can say padding 20 pixels 0 font size font size is 30 pixel and uh, we would get code down like that and we can just give it a border bottom of 2 pixel solid so I'm just gonna apply some more styles and uh, uh, more HTML to this login form and would get back to you then alright so I'm back and I have just styled this form a little just create a username and password field so if you take a look in login form you can see that it's fairly simple form with the div class input with the input type text field which is username and then we have a password field right and uh, in footer we have just the simple notice and then this login form has this little css and by the way this host what this host does is it actually targets this thing right here which is this app login form tag right so all the CSS since it is all locally scoped inside this so in order to actually target this app login form tag we need to make use of this host right so again I'm making use of a flex container so that uh, we can just arrange that nicely in all sort of so sorts of layouts so now let's just get to angular work I'm gonna go with login form and what I'm gonna do is say form summit which creates a one-way data binding I'm gonna say uh, login user and for login form component we can say login form component dot typescript and we can pretty much go in here and say login user is a method 
which just gives us the event and uh, this could be anything but uh, we need to pass in the event event right here and uh, what we can say is our username is equal to or we can actually we could have done this with ng model as well it's up to you how you want to do this we can say e dot elements dot uh, or since it would be the first field dot value and our password is e dot elements one dot value and uh, we can pretty much just console log username and password to see if everything's working fine so if I enter and login um, actually it's just returning us So it's actually summiting the form so let's just not make this summit but rather button and what we can do is pretty much uh, but then I guess we would have some problems so let's just stick to this and say e dot prevent default right here and now let's just add some text and hit login so we see some errors which is uh, console.log let's just say E right here what we get we get this as an event and uh, actually this is e dot target not just e right okay so now if we take a look and enter some text and hit login we get stf and stf as the username and password so now what we need to do is compare this to a particular value and then perform a redirect if the value is that particular thing so let's just say if username is admin and then password is admin as well what i want to do is actually authenticate the user and uh, more or less something like redirect him to the dashboard so before doing that what we need to do is actually implement routing for the dashboard so that we can actually make that so what i'm gonna do is uh, go again here and say ng generate component dashboard area or oh, let's just make it to dashboard only so now we have the dashboard with us what I can do is pretty much uh, you are authenticated like that and now finally we can go to our app module to actually write some routers right so we can say router module and routes from angular routes router rather router module okay so now inside imports we can say router module dot for root and there goes our app routes right and then we can say app routes is routes which is an array of routes which consists of path as a login or do we have that no dashboard actually dashboard and component as a, what we have in here as a dashboard component right and then what we can say is uh, path this thing component as a login form component right so now what we need to do is make use of uh, router outlet right here inside our app component.html so right now instead of app login form what i'm going to say is router outlet right here so if we save this we see no change right here but if I do something like uh, where do we have our login form 
TypeScript, right? So if username is admin and password is admin as well. So I want to say that this dot router dot navigate to dashboard, right? But we need to add a dependency injection for this router inside our constructor. So I'm gonna say this. This is a private router router. And again, we're gonna need that imported as well. Router from Angular router. And if we see that it's recompiling, so just wait a second. Okay, so it says me it has recompiled. And now if we take a look and say admin, admin, and hit login. You can see that we get to dashboard and we are actually authenticated as well so we can pretty much add a link right here and this should be actually route link which just says us to and we do not need that in square brackets and it says go back and we can pretty much just go back to our home page but the problem with this there are a couple of problems first of all that we do not actually know which user is authenticated so that uh, uh, in dashboard we could show something like um, hello then this particular user right so we can fix that problem by introducing a service and the second thing is dash that every everybody pretty much can visit this dashboard like that and would see this message you are authenticated go back right so that that is what pretty much the logic of a login app looks like but we need to implement these two things or rather fix them in our app to make it actually workable so we're gonna do that in the next video so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one